By the end of the video, you're going to be able to change the look of an expression that has three terms with descending powers x squared, x to the 1, and a constant. Before we do that, let's review expanding and simplifying. Recall that we can use the area model to perform this multiplication. x times x is x squared, x times 1 is 1x, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 1 is 2. x plus 2 times x plus 1 results in x squared plus 1x plus 2x plus 2. Collecting our like terms, we have 3x in the middle with the x squared and the 2 as the first term and the last term. Now here, we could show the algebra. We could distribute the x times the x plus 1 plus the 2 times the x plus 1. In other words, we took this x plus 1 and we distributed it to each of the terms. We created two terms here. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is positive 1x. And 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 1 is 2. Collecting our like terms, the middle term is 3x, and we have plus 2 on the end and x squared in the front. These two terms added up to the 3x. These two terms multiplied to get the 2. The 2 comes from 1 times 2. If we're asked to go the other way, if we're given a trinomial and we're asked to factor, that means we're asking for these values. We're asking for the binomial times the binomial. We know that the x squared goes here. We know that the 2 goes here. These two amounts need to add up to the 3x. If we can split up this 3x somehow and write them here, we're almost done. We need to find two numbers that multiply to give the 2 and add up to give the middle term, which is 3. Multiply to give the 2 and add up to give the 3. How we do that is we list the factors of the last term of 2. And it turns out there are only two factors, 1 and 2. Those two numbers multiply to give 2 and add to give a 3. 1x and 2x is the same as 3x. We've got a grouping question. We can take out an x and we're left with x plus 1. Take out a 2 and we're left with x plus 1. And the factors then would be x plus 1 is common in both terms. And x plus 2 is left. x plus 1 times x plus 2 are the factors of this trinomial. We would write x here, plus 1 here, x here, and plus 2 here. x times 2 is 2x, and 1 times x is 1x. These two add to give 3x, and 1 times 2 multiplies to give 2. When you find the factors of 2 that add to 3, and multiply to 2, you can skip all the algebra up there and simply write them as your answer. Here we have x times x plus 4 plus 6 times x plus 4. Distribute, we've got x squared plus 4x plus 6x plus 24. Collect the like terms, we've got 10x 
plus 24 and x squared. The x plus 6 and x plus 4 resulted in x squared, 4x, 6x, 24. These two add up to 10x. We have x squared plus 10x plus 24 as the resulting trinomial. Now can you go backwards? We know that this section is an x squared and this section is a 24. We're looking for these two values. x times x is x squared for sure. Can we list the factors of 24 to figure out which two numbers add to 10? Factors of 24, we need to find the numbers that multiply to 24 and add up to that 10, the middle term. 4 and 6, we have a 4x and a 6x. We can group x bracket x plus 4 and take out a 6 bracket x plus 4. We have x plus 4 is common and x plus 6 left over. We have found that a 4 goes here and a 6 goes here. 4 times x is 4x and x times 6 is 6x. These two add up to the 10x and these two multiply to the 24. We don't have to show all this algebra. Once you find those magic numbers that work, you can just put them in the bracket and you can even check your work to see if you're getting it. Here we're asked to factor three terms. We know the x squared goes here and the negative 24 is here. x times x is x squared and then we're looking for these numbers that'll make this rectangle work. We need to find two numbers that multiply to the negative 24 and add up to the coefficient of the middle term. These two, 3 comma 8, will work if the 8 is a plus and the 3 is a negative. They multiply to negative 24 and add to 5. Once you find those numbers, you can just put them in. If you need to see the algebra, we can do that up here. 5 would split to 8x minus the 3x. We have a minus 24 and we have an x squared. We can group. Common factor is x. x plus 8 is left. And common factor is negative 3. x plus 8 is left. Two terms where the x plus 8 is common and the x minus 3 is left. We have factored this trinomial. Here's a challenge for you. Use pairs of factors of 24 to create trinomials that can be factored. Let's just grab how about a 4 and a 6, but let's make the 4 a negative. How would we make a trinomial with those two? For a trinomial, we need three terms. The last term is a product. It's negative 24. The first term can be the x squared. And then the middle term results from these two combining or adding together. And that would be a plus 2x. How about a 3 and a negative 8? We have three terms where the last term would be a negative 24. The first term will make it, it can be a y squared, that's fine. And now adding these two up, we would have a 5y in the center. 